All right, we're checking out the only game where you can become a parent to a child that will eventually destroy all life on the entire planet. It's Baby Life 3D. This is our mom. I love how the rug in the background, it just looks like it was made out of the carcass of the family cat. I guess I'm all- <laughs> It's like I'm- it's like I'm giving birth to a chest burster. It almost exploded out of my stomach. OMG, I am pregnant. I can't be the only person that hopes this is exactly how our mother speaks, like actually saying these letters out loud. So you have a child try and do like a right hook out of your stomach and there's only two options, a baby just gas. If I try and ignore this, will I die? No, okay, it's like having a speed bag inside of her stomach. <laughs> the child is in there using her liver as like target practice. I felt it. Yeah, I saw it. Must be a baby. I'm going to be a mom. I'd like her to just keep going with the gas idea in order to see if like if there'll be another rug over here made out of her tomorrow. I love this outfit that she's wearing with the full heels as well, which is awesome. Ah, there's something I should consider though. Who should I tell first? Okay, tell boyfriend, tell husband. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, anytime you get a game on the Google Store and infidelity is the very first problem that you are encountered with like 20 seconds into the game, that's when you know. I understand why this game got like a 4.8 star rating. I love how it's not like, you know, tell my mom, tell a, tell a doctor, I don't know, go, go get myself checked out. It's either the boyfriend or the husband. I love how she's not, look at the look on her face. She's not even slightly concerned over this quandary. She's like, I don't know, huh? So wait, if I tell the boyfriend, am I gonna lose him? Like, will I only have the husband then? Ah, oh, whatever, we'll tell the boyfriend. I'm sure this will turn out just fine. My love. I have some news. I love how they just ripped a Google image and just threw it into the background. They're like, we can't be bothered making this. <laughs> also, who is my boyfriend? Like how wealthy is this guy? Did he just buy the entire dining room? Because there's no one else here. Also, I, is it just me or are his hands the size? It's like, it's like he could carry an entire 16 inch pizza just in his hand. Look at the difference between hers and his. I think your boyfriend is just a wacky inflatable arm guy. Like the dude from the used car lots. This is the most expressionless individual I've ever seen. Both of these answers are exactly the same. Being pregnant and you're gonna be a dad are both things that are happening. Wait, as long as he's the one. It never really specified that. I'm just gonna tell him he's the dad. Okay, he's cool with that. Hey, tell mom too. Am I about to be disowned? Also, why did he just lose like 30% of his fingertips? I don't, I don't care. Hey mom. The destroyer of worlds is coming into the planet. I'm not gonna lie, I don't look anything like my mother. You're gonna be a grandma. OMG, finally. Oh, never mind. I guess that is my mom. All right, now who is this? Is this the same guy? Is this my boyfriend? It looks different. We should prepare the baby room. What color should should I pick for the walls? Well, it kind of depends. Which one is like the most mind shattering? If this is the color of the walls, the floor and the walls will be the same color. It'll be like a torture room. I love how I was like, yeah, this would be a great color for the for the room. And the boyfriend was like, fantastic, start painting. Gonna help it all or no? Oh, I am so glad I picked this color. Can I just like, can I? <laughs> What the? <laughs> how? <laughs> I love how the game was like, Grace, stop. We'll do it for you. Should I go to the doctor? That probably should have been something you did in the beginning. Go to doctor, stay home. I'm glad this is here. Why is there a set of bananas just chilling out on a shelf behind me? Are these like real bananas or are they just like wax bananas? Because it's not food. It's just kind of like a decoration. I mean, I appreciate that we have a set of bananas back here for decor. I just don't know why they would be there there. We're staying home. Yeah, just lay back down. Oh, now my stomach is still vomiting. I feel sick. Better see a doctor. No, stay home. <laughs> ah, yes. It's the next day. Here we are. I love how the best 3D asset in the entire game was the child <laughs> inside of the monitor. Do you want to know the gender? Of course I want to know. I need to come up with a name right now. Now, to be fair, I would be, I would give them the same name even if they were a boy or girl. It really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go with Yedicles. Are you allowed to have like 
an extra adjective on a name? You can, right? It doesn't matter. I'm the one signing the birth certificate. Can I make it like Yedicles the Mighty? But yeah, go ahead and tell me. It's a boy! Yay! I'm still wearing no shoes. A puppy just showed up. How? Did I buy it? Did it ring my doorbell? This is incredible. Of course I'm going to adopt him. This is the smartest dog in the universe. I love how this dog was like, man, I am getting real tired of eating out of the trash can. I know, I'll just ring this doorbell over here. You're gonna have a great time, puppy. We have a hot dog vendor just chilling out in my front lawn. All right. I have my dog. I miss my friends. Why? You have a new friend now. This dog is actually smarter than all your other friends. Now that I got the opportunity to see the rest of this stuff that's just chilling out on this shelf, it's like a bunch of books, bananas, and then this random elephant. <laughs> the person who coded this game was clearly not an interior decorator. <laughs> throw a baby shower, call friends to brunch. I feel like I should throw a baby shower because I'm pretty sure I get free stuff that way. Free stuff. That was fast. Or is it just another animal at the door? Holy God. <laughs> <laughs> How are you lonely when you can call all your friends with your telepathic powers? Click to open. All right, let's see what y'all got me. This will be this is a, a distinct determination on whether or not you can stay in the house. All right, if it's a sword, you can stay. What do we got? And it is a this is a tea kettle garbage. All right, what else we got over here? You guys put more effort into wrapping it than actually picking out the item. All right, what do we got here? Ah, a lovely picture of another Google image that was just ripped off of the internet. I love ripped Google images. We're gonna keep that. Yeah, put that on the wall right over there. Fantastic. All right. I love it. I'm telepathic and telekinetic. My kid is gonna have so many superpowers to destroy the planet. And... <laughs> It's just a card of milk. How long was this sitting inside of the gift box? Lady's probably like 40 days. You know that your milk is good when you go to pour it into the glass and it comes out like <laughs> scrambled eggs. I'm absolutely keeping this. Yeah, just put it on the shelf. Why not? Wouldn't want to wouldn't want to put that inside of the <laughs> the refrigerator or anything. Okay, do you want ice cream? Yes, please. All right, let me, I'll go make some with the milk that they got me. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of different flavors here. We've got like grass, Minecraft diamonds. I'm pretty sure this is the flesh of a My Little Pony. Yeah, let's do, let's do grass. There we go, that's the first scoop. Definitely My Little Pony flesh. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah, I get one more. Is this American cheese flavored ice cream? That sounds delicious. Let's have some American cheese flavored ice cream. There we are. I need to do some shopping for the baby. All right, let's see here. We've got the orange diapers, or the black bottle, the purple bottle. Not really sure how that matters. I kind of like this bottle because it's tactical. They just need to put some Velcro on it or something. Yeah, let's go choose that. Actually, if I get this, it'll almost be like he's Batman. He's got like the black bottle like Batman. Not that Batman ever carried around a, a baby. You know what I mean? All right, this is this is kind of like having the belt, although I think his belt was yellow technically. Stars or rainbows? Kind of uses like ninja stars, so I guess I'll choose the stars. Oh, there's more. I didn't know this was still going. <laughs> Expensive food or cheap food? I'm buying the cheap food. If you ever want something better, you can eat the dog. The dog's probably like, wait, what? Hey, you, you rang my doorbell. Okay, I didn't go out looking for you. Get him this cowboy hat and this rocket toy. Here we are inside of, this place is messy. What were you doing here? Were you like ripping an onion apart with your bare hands? Clean up, get the vacuum. These are kind of the same things. The only difference is the vacuum might end up sucking up the dog. I need to give you a name. Your name is Tenderloin. Let me get the vacuum. Swipe to clean the rug. What was this rug doing? Was it like smoking cigarettes? This rug must have been snorting the pepper shaker. Actually, hold on a second. There you go. I made a thumbs up. I was going to try and write the word kill, but I've already sucked up too much dirt. That probably makes me sound like a psychopath, <laughs> considering even me, even me vacuuming the floor just turns to violence. Ah, here we go. The child is coming finally. The world is at, this is the last week of the world. My water broke. Ignore. 
I love how the dog is just hiding under the couch. What's up, buddy? Why don't you come out? He's like, you named me Tenderloin, and you've said that I'm going to be the next food source for your child. I'm never coming out from underneath this couch. Don't make me get the vacuum cleaner. I'm just kidding. You're adorable. I would never eat you. My child might, but I would never eat you. We're ignoring this. I can't wait. I just told you to ignore it. I love how she's the only one with animations. The boyfriend is just completely frozen. He's like, what would the wacky inflatable arm guy do over at the used car lot? He would be waving his arms around, which is better than just standing there. I guess I'll call for help. There we go. Now he's doing something. Fantastic. Am I the one driving the ambulance? Game, are you sure you want this? Out of the way! Rah! They've given me the key to the ambulance and I've lost my mind. Where's all the pedestrians at? All right. Apparently the ambulance is right next to the burger joint. That's fortunate. Doctor, the baby is about to come. Natural si oh my god. Also, this doctor is wearing the same shoes as me. That's incredible. They don't look like a doctor either. It just looks like a lady over from like the clothing store. Ma'am, where did you go to doctor school? She's like Macy's. I can see my boyfriend is still being completely useless. That's great. Well, I guess we can do the actual chest bursting now. We don't have time. What do you mean we don't have Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that child did a full backflip. Your baby is born and he's already an accomplished gymnast just like Batman. Hug the baby, get the baby cleaned first. I'm not touching it, bring that out of here. <laughs> I love how she just averts her eyes. Okay, now it's fine. And just like that, Yedocles the Mighty is born. Yedocles the Mighty. Oh, it lets me put it in. I can put more in. Destroyer of realms, killer of minds, bringer of the end times. You shouldn't have allowed me infinite spaces to name this child. What in God's name were you thinking? All right, that should be good enough. Done. And just like that, the baby is born and the world is dead. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Welcome Baby 3D. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.